let's review what we've learned so far in this workshop. Then I'll share with you three different ways that you can get help from a librarian when you're working on your research. The first thing that we covered was what is a peer-reviewed journal or what is a peer-reviewed journal article. So we talked about how different researchers will all write different papers and that's how they communicate with one another and they also will work to quality check one another's work as well um, and that's the peer review process. We learned about how journals get published throughout the year so there might be four different issues of the same journal published throughout the year um, and that a different collection of articles will be in each one. So that was the what is a peer-reviewed journal. Then we learned about what is a database. So this is where we talked about how different databases uh, will be established for different subject areas. So for psychology, the one that we use the most often is called PsycInfo, and this was a little screen capture of that. And we talked about how in a database, instead of having all your stuff kind of randomly strewn everywhere, like in Google, it gets nicely organized and it's neat and it's easy to search. Databases are accessed through the library website. So we went to the library website next and we did how to find PsycInfo. Here's an example of what that looks like. And after we went into PsycInfo, we learned about how to actually use keywords to search it. So this is where we had a whole bunch of different options for each of our main concepts. And we learned how to input them into the database, into PsycInfo. After we did the basic version of that, we went ahead and we learned how to expand our search. So we used the word and, and we used the word or, uh, and then we used truncation with the star, which is like a wild card. All those techniques give you more search results. After we did that, we learned about how to narrow down your search, and we used a couple of techniques for that one. We used three. So we used phrase searching, which is where you have to take quotation marks and put them around any kind of phrase that requires two or more words to stay together. We learned about how to use the drop-down fields, title and abstract, to make sure that your search results are as relevant as they can be, rather than just finding your search terms randomly anywhere in the article. And we learned how to use the filters on the left-hand side to check off the boxes and narrow down your search results even more. The final thing that we did was learn how to use the f or how to get the full text of the articles either through the library or through another library using interlibrary loan. Once you start working on your research project, you may find that you would like some help from a librarian. That is our job. We are here to help you. There's three different ways that you can get help from us. The first way is through email. All you need to do is send us an email at library at capilanou.ca letting us know what your research project is and what you'd like help with and we'll get back to you within one business day. Another option, option two, is to come see us in person. We have a drop-in research help desk in the library and the hours vary throughout the year so check on our website to see what they currently are and then feel free to drop in and we can give you a hand. The third option is an online chat option called AskAway. Some of the librarians who work on it are here at CAPU and then some of them are at other universities in BC. All you need to do to access the AskAway is to go to our website, go to the Ask Us page and you'll find the chat widget there where you can ask your questions by chat. So I hope that you've learned something new in this workshop today and that you feel confident to go forward with your research project. I hope that you'll also take three minutes to fill out our survey and let us know how this workshop was for you. I really hope to see you around campus and please remember that we in the library are always here to help.